YouTube. It's Leah with Scrapping Beauty. So today I'm going to try to do a quick tutorial on how to um, put in clip-on hair extensions, the proper way to put in hair extensions, and also how to curl them using a curl stick. Um, it's going to be kind of inspired by Kim Kardashian and Vanessa Hudgens. Um, I call it the Hollywood wave. Um, so yeah, first things first, products. Um, so my favorite, favorite, favorite product in the whole world to curl hair with is um, Alterna Caviar Working um, Hairspray. This is amazing. This is like no other hairspray you want, that you've ever tried before. Um, most hairsprays, once you spray into the hair, the hair is stiff. It's meant to just like lock in the hold. So when you try to curl on top of those stiff um, hairsprays, then the curl is like crispy, it looks kind of like a ribbon, and um, it's not soft, and it doesn't look flowy like how you know, the celebrities have their hair. So this guy is meant to be used um, with heat. It's meant to be curled, and the reason why they call it working, so that means that um, if you don't like what you did, um, how you curled your hair or styled your hair, you can brush it out and restyle it again. And um, most hairsprays do not allow you to do that. So um, definitely all the girls, I want you girls to all go out and get one of these Alterna working um, hairspray. And the amazing thing is that it used to be a bigger size and it was one of the most expensive um, hairsprays on the market. It was like 37 bucks. But this guy markets about uh, retails for about 18 to 20 dollars which is amazing and it lasts forever it's a very 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 soft dry mist which is awesome um i also love this to death it's from healthy sexy hair healthy sexy hair soy paste it's made out of soy and cocoa and no you cannot eat this um it's so good for the hair it really nourishes the hair but this is what i use afterwards um, after I curl my hair, it goes. It, I use it to define the curls. It does not have any hold to it. I don't know why they call it paste. I wish they didn't, but it does not have any hold, which is perfect because all we want is definition, and it smells amazing. So that's it. And your curl stick. This is from Enzo Milano. It's the brand new one. It's digital. Um, I think it's on the market now. Back when I got it in January, I did not. It was not yet released on the market. Um, it's a little bit over one inch, and uh, it's one of my favorites. This is amazing, and also the Sultra, which is a Japanese um, ceramic um, brand, is amazing as well. Uh, so yes, these are 16 inches long, and um, I hand sew them. Okay, I make I custom make these for my clients too. All right, so first things first, we're gonna start all the way at the nape. So you kind of have to put it really, really, really close to um, the nape only because when these hairs, these shorter pieces come forward, if there's no extensions with them, then you can definitely tell that they are extensions. So we want these pieces to blend in with the hair extensions. So I'm going to turn around and hopefully you guys can see this. Um, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to spray the alternative caviar spray. Okay. So, let me see. Hopefully you guys can see this. Um, okay, that's me right there. Perfect. So I'm going to spray at the roots. And then you're going to back comb. You want to back comb because you want to give something for the clips to hang on to. If the hair is too clean or too straight, those clips are just going to slide right out. So back comb just a little bit. It's not going to be perfect. Okay. And then we're just going to take the hair extensions and lock it into the back comb there. And that's it. Okay. This last one, I don't have clips for it, so I'm just going to use bobby pins. I'm going to lay right on top like this. Just like that. 
My hair goes down the top of it. Okay. Um, so, yeah. And then I'm going to do the sides really fast, too. I have two pieces for the side. Um, so I'm going to pick about two inches above my ear. The roots, and I'm going to back comb. Okay, I'm going to put in my extension. Okay, go this way and Now don't clip your hair extensions too close to the hairline. Like I left like I'm usually about an inch, only because if you clip too close, when the wind blows or or you're walking and you know hair's flowing, uh, you don't want people to see your tracks. Very embarrassing. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this is it. Instant long hair. Isn't that cool? Okay, so let me lower this. Um, oops. All right, so to do the Kim Kardashian wave, um, I'm going to spray all over. So the most important thing, when you are doing the Hollywood wave, you want the hair to rope around the tool. You don't want it to be flat, because if it's flat around the tool, then it's going to be a curl. But if it's like a rope around the tool, then that's how you'll get those beautiful S patterns. So I'm going to start on top like this. My tool always faces down so that I have free range to wrap around. And of course, um, for this look, all the hair is going away. So all the hair will be curled, waved away from this face, away from my face, and all these guys will be waved that way. All right. Grabbing um, all the hair from my ear forward. Tool down like this. I'm not sure if you can see. Okay. Tool down like that. And we're going to wrap it. And I'm not sure if you can see, but the hair is kind of like a rope. You want to see that. The hair will kind of do it naturally on its own. Wait a few seconds. Release. Okay, so once you release it, what you're going to want to do is hold on to the, the end and pull it. That will help to give it that really nice um, S pattern. Okay, so these guys did not curl. Because, you know, it's my real hair. So I'm going to take it. Sorry about the banging. That's my um, cord. Banging up against my vanity here. Just like that. A little bend. Okay, so next section. You can, It's okay to take big sections too, really. Okay, we're going to take one big section. We're going to release. Then we're going to pull. We're going to pull. Okay, perfect. Then we're going to grab the next section. And a good thing about these waves too is you don't have to section the hair. Just grab whatever you can and curl them. Okay, tool down. Release. And then pull. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start this side.
and then pull. Okay, we'll go ahead and, and redo this front piece again. Okay, and pull that like so. All right, so I'll grab the next section. And then pull. Tug on that. Okay, we're gonna grab another one from the back. People usually have a hard time with these back pieces, but um, it's okay. You're gonna wanna pull up the back pieces as if you're about to put it into a ponytail, okay? Take your real hair and the extensions and hold it as if you're going to go into a ponytail. Um. Alright, there you go. And you pull. Just stretch it out. Um, I have some more pieces in the back, uh, but, you know. Let me see if I can get to it. Actually, it's just one more piece. So let me do that really fast. That and then pull and tug on that. Okay, so um, once you're all done, you don't want to break it up too much only because with hair extensions, if you break it up too much, then they could become a little bit uh, frizzy. So then you take the sexy hair, um, healthy sexy hair soy paste. Mmm, smells so good. Emulsify it in the hands, in your fingers, means to melt it. And go ahead and go through each individual, you know, section and just run it through. You can back comb if you want to. Running it through the back. Um, a quick note for those who have short layers like I do, um, it's going to be hard to try to curl the top layers with the extensions. So what I do is I go in there individually and pull out the short layers like this guy right here. And um, I wrap it around the tool like this, I wrap it really tight, but then I I um, bring it down the strand. You see how I'm sliding it down? That helps us to make it really um, into a wave versus a tight curl, because you don't want it to be curly. All right, so I'm just pulling. Roll it up and then pull down the strand, okay? And so it hits the end and it releases, and then it turns it into a really, really soft wave. Um, I'll try it again on this. So pretty much, yeah, that's it. So just remember, pull on your your waves, your curls, so that they release and turn into a ripple effect like what I have here. Um, I'll show you the back. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions feel free to um, comment below and uh, I hope you girls enjoy this and have fun you, again thank you for watching this is Leia and you just learned how to do the Hollywood wave thanks see you soon bye bye